Hey guys, Rover Dude here. I um, want to go over a brand new mod. Um, this is Asteroid Recycling Technologies, formerly known as Hollow Asteroids, formerly known as Asteroidal uh, Resources. We kind of settled on uh, ART for the name after some forum voting. And this is basically it. Uh, this is the release version. So a couple things. Uh, we did simplify this a little bit. There will be additional expansions and packs and stuff like that. But we wanted to get kind of a nice basic um, product out of the gate. This is a collaboration between Wari and myself. Um, Wari handled design, concept, all the really awesome models and textures. I just do like, you know, plug-in stuff and some of the unique work. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look. This is an asteroid, obviously. And much like Julia Child, here's one we prepared earlier. I'm going to do a run through of all the different components in the um, art pack and we'll uh, go from there. So, first thing, asteroids, kind of important. We do modify them a little bit. So, you see a few things here. Uh, first thing, the whole point of this mod, kind of the main point actually, is to um, hollow out and utilize um, asteroids, basically giant configurable storage containers. Uh, with the resource process, kind of a secondary benefit of that. But the main thing really is, you know, can I convert this giant rock into habitable, um, usable storage space, right? So here, here you have a whole idea here of space. I have empty in total space, starts at zero, zero. Um, as I begin to excavate and carve out the asteroid, this will be increased, which I can then go ahead and use and allocate uh, for different storage tanks. Based on the asteroid's mass being 64 tons, I have about 128,000 units of rock that are remaining. Um, so I'll basically transform the asteroidal mass into rock, and then I can either do stuff with the rock, convert it to things, or just vent it out into space. Um, either way, as I consume that rock and get rid of it, I can convert that rock's um, allocation of space into empty space that I can then use for uh, you know, storage tanks, things like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and run through all the different parts, though. So the first one here, right there, this is the jaw. Um, this is basically an arm claw that attaches, it has a high-powered laser. What it does is it vaporizes the asteroids, you know, rock, melts it down, um, turns it into rock, and prepares it to be transformed into space or utilized or what have you. Let's go ahead and kick this guy on. And away we go. A little particle effect kicks in. It's starting to melt the rock. You'll see this will eventually, as we will do a little bit of time warp here, it'll kind of tick over. And what's going here is it's actually transforming this guy into rock. So I'm getting more and more rock. Let's do about uh, 50 times. So again, rock's occurrence is basically and vaporizing the content, turning it into rock, and away we go. Let's go a little bit faster. A little bit faster. And we'll get a decent amount of rock built up there and get back to a day cycle, and then we'll go from there. Let's get about a thousand, I think we'll be good for that. Okay. And almost there. That's probably good enough. Okay. So now I have rock, okay? But again, I still have no um, empty space. It's all filled with rock. So what do I do with the rock? Well, you could take this little guy here. And this is an example of one of a couple of different converters, okay? Um, so we have a, th a few basic ones. We have ones for carbonite. We also have ones for, you know, water and you know, minerals or substrate. Your, your basic MKS type resource things. These are fully extensible, fully configurable. It comes with a template. Build your own. Go crazy. Um, but again, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just um, convert this guy. And I, this will convert raw rock into carbonite. This is not a very efficient process. You're going to lose most of your rock doing this, but it works, right? It's just a, a kind of a secondary thing for this part of the mod. That being said, the next step of this mod will introduce much more high efficiency, you know, mining equipment, converters, stuff like that. This is just basic, easy, you know, get some trace stuff out of the asteroid, nothing too fancy. So we had... Um, it's over a thousand rock, and that thousand rock, and I should have an empty carbonite tank here. And when I convert, away we go. And it gave me a little tiny, tiny bit of a carbonite there. So it's starting to go. Again, we'll do some time acceleration. And away it goes, right? It just goes ahead and converts this rock very slowly into really not very much carbonite at all. Yeah, it's pretty much just trace amounts. Okay? Now I have been freeing up space. So now that I have some empty space on the asteroid, I can now go ahead and, if I want to, just dump some rock into space. There goes some rock. 
that I can I still try to convert the carbonite, by the way, in the background. I can then go ahead and convert all this empty stuff that's at 1103 here. Watch this. Bam. I now have space. So I've now gone ahead and basically, if you see the max amount just changed here real quick. And now the rest of it is converted into configurable space. But that comes into play are these little guys right here. These are storage tanks. Okay. They, they latch on, they burrow into the asteroid, and with them, here's one for carbonite, for example, you can store stuff. So we have ones for you know, carbonite, liquid fuel, oxidizer, xenon gas, those are stock. Again, fully configurable, go crazy with it. So I can go ahead and take a look here. Here's this tank. It is empty by default. And here I can expand it or compress it. So I can dynamically change and allocate space for the tank. I can dump its contents. So I'll just go ahead and expand it real quick here, and I'll put it over there. There's 902 space available. This comes from the asteroid here. Now there's some rock going on. Let's go ahead, and I can, of course, if I want to, you can press it, uh, expand it. So you can actually, on the fly, dynamically change your uh, tank space allocation. So pretty cool. So you come with a whole bunch of you know carbonite, expand that, start converting to liquid fuel, contract the carbonite allocation, increase liquid fuel allocation. So these are basically fully reconfigurable, massive storage tanks. That, that's pretty much what the whole mod does, okay? So that's it. The uh, last bit, and I will need a bit more rock, so I'm going to turn the converter off. Let's stop that, because I'm using all my rock. Let's get a little bit more rock here. And that's not bad. Whoops. Attack life support, that's awesome. There's probably Kerbal's dying somewhere. That's okay. Didn't like him anyway. Eh, that's probably enough. Okay. So the last two bits that we have on this, you know, it's this big ship right here, are actually a rock powered mass driver with an associated fuel tank. So first I'm gonna go ahead and fill this guy up go ahead and transfer some rock from the asteroid into my fuel tank. And enough of that, we we'll get roughly symmetrical here. So this engine, yeah, pretty cool. It uses a combination of electric charge and basically rock. It's basically a mass driver, so it's using, um, it is, you know, really heavy, you know, high energy to toss stuff out the back, like an ion drive, basically, but we're using rock instead of xenon gas. Uh, Efficiency-wise, it's worse than an ion drive, better than a nuke, so it's kind of in between, okay? So still low thrust, but high ISP. It does require little charge, so I have all these really cool solar panels. We'll just extend these guys out. And there we go. Let us decouple. Focus. Let's back away. Back away, back away. And with that, there's an engine. So now I have rocked here, electric charge. And away we go. And that's basically it. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Again, pretty cool mod. Again, Ward did an awesome job with you know, the models and stuff. Uh, again, really cool stuff. Any questions, post it in the thread. Uh, but that's it. Again, thanks for listening. Uh, fly safe.